crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, and Maisie. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys. So, um, I am here to change Maya. And I'm going to change her into one of those um, romper overall things that I bought. This one, I believe this was one of the ones I bought at the mom to mom sale. Uh, it is light pink with red reindeer on it. And I'm just going to put a white long sleeve onesie under it. For some reason I thought I had a light pink long sleeve onesie to put under but I can't seem to find it so I don't know if maybe I had gotten rid of it but I guess I'm, I'm sure white will look okay just a plain white onesie and um, I am going to talk about something that is really frustrating right now on YouTube and I'm sure, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys have talked about things like this on your channels. The whole monetization thing that YouTube has been doing. Um, it's been very frustrating. But there's a lot more to it than that that I've recently discovered. Um, so... I would say for at least a year now. Oh look, she already has a white onesie on. I don't have to put one on her. Um, for the last year, YouTube's algorithm has changed. Um, this whole thing started happening with the advertiser friendly stuff where advertisers were starting to flag videos saying that they were not advertiser friendly this and that and it all started with um i can't remember which channel it was but it basically started with stuff that had to do with um like political stuff terrorism and violence and things like that and so companies started pulling out from partnering with YouTube they no longer wanted their advertising on YouTube because of this reason um, then of course YouTube then went ahead changed their algorithm and was basically trying to do whatever they could to get advertisers to come back onto YouTube. So then they created these guidelines that your video must meet in order to be deemed advertiser friendly. I read through the guidelines when they were first released. I thought to myself, okay, I'm good. I, I'm safe. My videos meet the requirements. My videos, you know, don't have violence in them. They don't have nudity. They don't have swearing, all this stuff. So I'm thinking, I'm safe. I'm. It should be fine. Well, then all of a sudden, um, well, actually, at the time, I guess it was before they st they brought out those guidelines though. When the advertisers pulled out uh, my monthly YouTube revenue started to drop a lot. More than 50%. And, I, and that's when I was like, what is going on? And then that's when I found out about what they called the adpocalypse. Then it progressed on to the whole um, situation of the new guidelines and that. 
But like I said, I thought, oh, I meet those guidelines. So I guess as long as I meet them and YouTube hopefully will slowly start to get back their advertisers, my income should go back up. And it didn't. Um, and it kind of made no sense because my views really didn't change much. So it wasn't like I had a drastic drop in views that would affect revenue. So it definitely had to do with this whole new ads and the algorithm and whatever. Well then, earlier this year, I started noticing that wonderful little yellow money sign. Usually when your video is fully monetized, you get a green sign. I started finding my videos that I would upload would be green for a few hours and then suddenly turn yellow, which yellow said limited to no ads running on this video because it did not meet the advertiser friendly guidelines. So you could automatically submit um, a manual review of your video because what I understood, the way I understood it was that there was a algorithm computer system thing and that's what would scan videos and pick them up and because it was new it was buggy and it was picking up and dinging videos that shouldn't be dinged so you had to go through the process of sub saying I want to submit my video for manual review um, and then they would review it and in mo in pretty much all cases with me, they would then go ahead and say, yes, your, vi your video is fine and they would monetize it and all would be well. But it was frustrating because I would pretty much have to do this with every single video. And they would say, oh, well, we won't review videos until it has a thousand views. However, in my case, they usually would review it right away. And my assumption on that was that because I have um, a large amount of subscribers, maybe they gave me a little bit more priority. Um, I'm not 100% sure, though, but thankfully, I never had to wait too long for the video to be reviewed and monetized. Now, thankfully, knock on wood, I would say for at least the last two months now, I really haven't had to submit any reviews whatsoever. Uh, all of my videos have been going up with no problems being monetized, which is great. I thought, okay, they're finally fixing things. Well, I still found that my revenue was not um, going back up, it's been staying about the same, and I couldn't figure it out. So, <laughs> I started to go back through all of my old videos, and lo and behold, I found a lot of my older videos had been dinged. One of them in particular was probably a video of mine that has probably the most views on my entire channel. It was the day in the life of Savannah video that I made not too long after I got her. So this is going back a few years. And it is like a half hour video. And to me, in my opinion, it's not one of my best videos, but for some reason, the views just skyrocketed on that video. It has millions of views. I, I never understood why <laughs> it has millions of views. Um, Cause like I said, to me, it's not my best video. I've done much better videos in my opinion. I find it to be kind of a boring video to be quite honest, but whatever. Um, it got tons of views and it had been demonetized. And on top of that, 
the comments on it had been disabled. And I was like, wait a second, I know that I did not disable comments on this video. I never disable comments on my video because I like chatting with you guys. And yes, I get nasty comments, but I just delete them and move on. Now, sometimes on certain videos, such as that video that has millions of views, it did get to a point where I was getting so many comments on it that I wouldn't be surprised if I if some negative comments slipped by me. And I remember Stephanie from In Love With Reborns talking about how she found out that in, um, YouTube is now also looking at the comments and that your video might get dinged if you have nasty comments on your videos. Like if someone leaves a nasty comment swearing or something, you're going to get dinged because of it. So it's like you have to be right on top of reviewing your comments and immediately deleting anything negative so that your video isn't going to be dinged. And I think to me that is the most stupidest thing I have ever heard because I'm not intentionally leaving those comments. I'm not writing profanity on my video. It's someone else. And I have a life outside of YouTube. I have work. I have things I'm trying to get done around the house. Um, one of my big goals this year is to declutter our entire apartment. And now that I'm down to only working two days a week, I'm really working towards getting that done. So I can't constantly be online checking my comments. I just can't. I check them maybe like I think when I'm working, I usually will check them on my way to and from work when I'm on the bus, if I feel like it, because sometimes I just want to sleep on the bus. Um, and, you know, on my lunch break when the kids are napping. When I'm at home, I'll generally check when I first wake up in the morning. I might check again when I'm having my lunch. And then I might check again at the end of the day before I go to bed. But that's it. I'm busy, you know, doing other things. So... I, yeah, it's very frustrating, this new thing with YouTube. So I had to wonder if maybe the comments were disabled because there was something nasty on there that they didn't like. Um, so that was one issue. <laughs> um, then, so I looked at it, I looked at this video, and it said that it had already been manually reviewed and that was it there was no other option for me to submit another review for it so I guess you know my memory is really bad sometimes with lupus I have lupus fog a lot so maybe I had already submitted maybe I, I, I just totally forgot that I had already submitted a review on that video although I don't remember going back and looking through my old videos until just in the last week um I just decided to do it. Uh, so I I don't know. It said that it, I couldn't review it anymore. The decision had been made. It was not advertiser friendly. I had limited to no ads running on it. And this video in particular that had millions of views accounted for, I would say, like 80 to 90% of my monthly revenue on YouTube. The vast majority of the money I was making when I was making a good amount per month came from that one video. So having it demonetized is what probably knocked my revenue down. Um, so I found an email address to email YouTube. I contacted them about the video and they came back saying, sorry, uh, you know, it's been reviewed. It's, you know, not advertiser friendly. It could be something in the title, thumbnail, or the video itself, or whatever. And I would not accept that. I would not accept that because I knew for a fact that I had plenty of other videos on my channel 
that was exactly the same thing. I have lots of day in the life videos of my dolls on my channel and all of those were monetized no problem. Never had any issues with those. And so I replied and I told them that. I said, look at this is this video is no different than anything else on my channel. I just rewatched the entire video and all I do is show what I'm having for breakfast. I go shopping. I play with a doll and that's it. There is nothing offensive. There is nothing wrong with this video. It meets your guidelines. Then on top of that, I told them about that I had just discovered comments had been disabled and I would like to know why. So they said that they were going to forward it to higher ups and they would be in contact with me. Well, it's been over a week now and I haven't heard anything else. In the meantime, I found two other videos of mine that had also been dinged. Um, now, they weren't as high views as my Savannah one, but they had decent views. And again, there was nothing in them that I can think of. The only thing I can think of is one of them was when I got my new Real Care 2 Plus and was comparing her to the old one that had turned orange and oily. And both of them were naked and they're full, they're full vinyl dolls, okay? So maybe the nudity thing, which again, I still think that thing is, that whole thing is stupid because it's a doll. It's not a real person naked on video. Sorry guys, my battery died on my good camera. <laughs> so I've picked up my vlogging camera and I just thought this is a nice way to show you Maya up close with her cute little outfit. I gotta get some socks for her and some little bows for her hair. So I'll do that in a minute. But as I was saying, um, even though the doll dolls were full vinyl dolls, had girly parts and were naked, the video was, in my opinion, a learning video. It was educational. It was to show the difference between the two dolls, to show, you know, kind of what happened to my old doll, to let other people know that own those type of dolls, to not put the baby oil on anymore or baby lotion or whatever, especially if it's old, because this is what it can do. And I saw nothing wrong with it, but okay, if they're not going to re-monetize that, whatever, I can get that. The other video was a video of me getting Maisie dressed into this, into that beautiful Jimboree dress that had the, lo the rocket, lo um, not lollipops, the rocket, uh, what are they called? Popsicles all over her dress. And I watched that video and I did not I did not even have her showing her cloth body or diaper. She had a onesie on underneath the, the outfit that I took off of her. And then I just put the dress on top of it. So she didn't eat, her cloth body wasn't shown at all. Her diaper wasn't shown at all. And yet it got dinged. And there was, again, nothing wrong with that video. I have plenty of other videos like that. Heck, I even have videos of me changing my dolls and showing their cloth body and diaper and those have been monetized in the last couple of months with no problems. I haven't had to submit reviews for any of them. And again, both of these other videos that I discovered, their comments had also been disabled. And I was like, what is going on? Why are these comments being disabled? So. I hadn't heard, like I said, I hadn't heard back in over a week from these people at YouTube. So I emailed them back again, just asked how the process was going with the first video I informed them of. And I said, I would also like to inform you of these two videos I just discovered um, that have also been demonetized. And well, I can't say they're demonetized because when you have the yellow sign, it does mean that you may get the odd ad running on your video because it says limited ads or no ads so it, it's hard to say exactly you may not get any ads at all or you may get like one once in a blue moon or something so I kind of consider it in my opinion demonetized okay because it's not full monetization and so they I said here's the link to these videos 
Their comments have also been disabled and I would really like to know why comments are being disabled on these videos. Um, for one thing, that is like a main thing I would really like to be enlightened on. Um, and also, I would like, you know, someone to look at these videos and tell me what exactly is wrong with them because for the last two months, I haven't had to submit any reviews for any of my videos and many of those videos have the same content as these videos that you are not allowing monetization on. So I would like an explanation, please. Um, I just want to know. So there's that issue. Then this past weekend when I was at the London Doll Show, I found out that there's another thing happening now on YouTube that people aren't always getting new videos in their subscription feed. Now I had caught wind of it through YouTube. Um, some YouTubers that I watch, some family vloggers have briefly touched upon it saying that, you know, some people had been wondering how come they hadn't made videos in days when they had actually been posting daily uh, because these people were just going to the subscription feed on YouTube, which honestly, that's what I do. Uh, when I go to watch videos on YouTube, I click on that subscription tab and all the current videos of the channels I subscribe to usually come up there and I then cast them to my TV. That's how I watch YouTube. Well, apparently some people would go to their subscription tab, but for some reason, certain YouTubers' videos were not being sent to the subscription feed. And so people, I guess, didn't think to go and check out the actual YouTube channel page. So they thought that they hadn't been posting videos in, you know, days or weeks or whatever. Come to find out they had been posting every day. And had they gone to that person's YouTube channel page, they would have seen the videos there. So that's why you're going to find a lot of YouTubers now are encouraging people that when they hit the subscribe button to also click on the bell that's beside the subscribe button because that will notify you as soon as that channel uploads a video. So anyways, I had, like I said, I had caught wind of this and come to find out it's obviously been affecting my channel as well. Um, I know I've had a couple of people over the last few months in the comments, sometimes they'll comment and go, yay, a new video from you. I've missed you. And I, you know, I've really missed your videos. I haven't seen you post in so long. And I'm sitting there scratching my head because I'm like, I've uploaded for the last five days. So how come they're acting like I haven't uploaded? Well, now this answers my question because when I was at the London Doll Show this past weekend, there was an artist there, uh, the artist that made Paula's baby Shamari. And she asked me, she goes, are you still doing YouTube videos? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I said, yeah, I upload, you know, quite frequently. Um, I said, you know, I haven't been as good at, at uploading on a, like every day, um, because of things with my health, but I'm still uploading at least a couple times a week. And she goes, oh, because she says, I haven't seen any videos come up in my subscription feed, like from your channel since you got Joshua. And I couldn't believe that. I was like, oh my gosh, I got Joshua in November. So she's telling me she hasn't seen any videos pop up for me since November, guys. And I was like, okay, so because I will, I will say that I have noticed just in the last couple of months a little bit of a drop in my views. And I don't know. It, I, I mean, it didn't really bother me, but I had to wonder like what the reason was did it have something to do with this whole new youtube stuff 
or people just losing interest or I, I don't know. Well, this confirms it. There's obviously another glitch with YouTube that some people are not getting their subscription feeds updated properly. So, like I said, this lady had not seen a video since I got Joshua. She's like, the last video I saw from you was your box opening of Joshua and I haven't seen you make anything since. And I'm like, I have posted a ton of videos since Joshua arrived. So that was kind of frustrating to hear that clearly this is a big issue. This is another issue. It wasn't just a rumor I heard. It is actually happening to people. So with that said, um, if you haven't consistently seen videos from me popping up in your subscription feed, definitely go click on my main channel page. Like when you go to YouTube, there should be a, a thing on the sidebar with all of the channels you subscribe to. So go click on the Life with Crystal channel and all my videos are there and I have playlists for all the different segments so if you're specifically wanting to watch my vlogs there's a playlist for all my vlogs if you're just wanting to watch the doll videos there's doll break playlists um so definitely go check that out and also I guess the best thing to do then is for everyone to click on the little bell on their favorite youtubers page click that bell so that you won't miss any videos from them. Um, so, you know, like, I mean, hearing that she hasn't seen any videos pop up for me since November makes me wonder if the same thing has happened to a lot of my other subscribers. And if that's the case, then that could be why since November, or maybe like just since December, November, December, I noticed a drop in views because maybe people haven't been seeing my videos come up. Uh, so YouTube is a mess right now, in my opinion. They need to get their stuff together. They need to fix all these bugs and glitches. Um, they need to communicate way better with their creators to let them know what's going on, why things are happening, I mean, I never received any kind of, you know, newsletter or email from YouTube saying that advertising guidelines were changing or anything like that. I only found out about it through the grapevine. I was actually on um, a forum where people talk about their favorite YouTubers or whatever, and someone was mentioning, oh, did you see this new policy about... And have you heard of this ad apocalypse? And so that's how I found out about it. Didn't find out about it straight from YouTube because they never contacted any of their creators to let them know about these changes. So it's just really frustrating. Um, thankfully, thank God, I don't rely on my YouTube money as my full-time income. But there are many, many channels out there that do make YouTube their full-time job. And a lot of them are really struggling now because of all of these weird changes and things. And they're having to censor themselves now and they're having to be less genuine on video. Um, and I've just noticed, you know, with a lot of family vloggers that I used to love, I've noticed big changes in their channel where they're not the same as they used to be because they're censoring themselves and they're trying to portray a certain image on their channels that's really not them, but they're doing it so that they can keep getting paid since this has been their full-time job. Um, and yeah, like, I was making a pretty decent amount per month for about a whole year, I would say. I was doing really well. Um, not enough to say a full-time income, but I would say definitely I was almost making what I'm making at my part-time job. 
And there was a month where that money did pay the bills because um, if you guys remember, I, I had worked for a family and they had ended up being like a complete nightmare to work for. And so I quit. Um, and after my last day with them, I went to the Down East Doll Show. This was all in 2015. And when I came back, I had to have, I had the jaw procedure back then, the same one that I had done recently. And so I was out of work for a whole month. Then I worked the rest of the summer for another family. Then in September started back with Margaret's family. Well, so during that time, there was a month, a month and a bit. Yeah, a, a month. I would say a whole month where I had no income from my nannying and YouTube helped, you know, helped me that month to be able to um, contribute to our bills and you know it helped us for a while like to put some extra money into savings for our future um, and then the rest I pretty much was just using as fun money you know basically I was putting it back into my channel I was able to purchase a brand new computer so that I could do better editing because my other computer was so slow, it took forever just to load my editing program. And then to import all the footage took, oh my gosh, sometimes it took an hour just to uh, like import the footage. Then I had to edit and the preview screen in the program would stall and freeze up. And it just took me forever, like almost all day to edit a video. <laughs> so I you know, used my YouTube income to buy myself a new computer. Um, I bought it to buy a new vlogging camera that was better quality than the other one I had been using, um, to buy new memory cards, to buy tripods. You know, I just put it back into my channel. I used it to buy items for giveaways or for love mail and, you know, to help cover postage for those things. Um, and also like to put back into my hobby. So, yeah, so I definitely, you know, now I'm making, I would say more than 50% less per month. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm spending a lot less on things for my channel. Um, that's why there's been less giveaways because I just can't afford it. And especially now that I've gone down to two days of work, two days a week, at work for the next five months. My income's been cut there. So it just, it's frustrating for us creators that do actually make money on YouTube. Like I said, I it wasn't like a full-time job. It was like a part-time job, but, and you know, like I didn't rely on it to pay the bills. It was just extra income. Um, we already had all our bills covered between my nanny job and Alex's job. But, and that's why, like, I have to say, the YouTubers that do rely on YouTube for a full-time income, I really hope that they have plans and backups because I have a feeling YouTube isn't going to be forever. And there's going to be a time where that's it. And, and if they've made YouTube their full-time job, it's very risky very very risky so that's why I never dived into that I never tried to make it you know a full-time job um, because it's just too unpredictable and unstable and especially now with all these changes we're seeing um, it's definitely looking more towards that and it's sad um, it's sad to see that YouTube may not be what it once was that people are going to start censoring themselves and this and that. And I also read somewhere, and I don't know how true this is, but I also read somewhere that YouTube also would prefer creators to focus on educational videos because they're so obsessed with kids. Because apparently kids is the biggest audience of YouTube that they want basically kid-friendly content 
they want educational content for children. And I'm thinking, so if that's where they're going to go, um, they're going to stifle the creativity of so many channels. Like, I don't just watch Reborn channels. I watch comedy channels. I watch family vloggers, crafting. I mean, there's so many different things that I watch, and it's just like... And some of them I would consider adult for adults, not for kids, because there is, you know, sometimes swearing and things like that in the comedy channels. And I would hate to see those channels go because of all of this, because honestly, I do, like, I watch more YouTube than I watch TV shows nowadays. Um, it's another form of entertainment, and I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it and it would be sad it's just sad to think that some of these amazing channels that I enjoy that are geared towards adults may stifle their creativity or change themselves or may just quit YouTube altogether because they can't do it because of all these stupid rules and stuff so anyways I'm gonna grab a little bow for her hair, for Maya's hair, some socks for her feet, and I'll show you her completed look and we'll wrap this up. Okay guys, so there she is. I gave her some little red socks with white flowers on them. And she's got a little red hair clip in her hair. And she's looking super cute. The um, uh, the overalls are a little bit baggy, but not too baggy. They're really nice and soft, and they fit her, I would say, really well. She looks really cute in them. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for listening to my rant. And, um, I just, I hope all of you guys out there are having better luck. Um, and... I just have to say, I feel bad for the ones that had their channel monetized and then had it taken away because of the whole new rules of you have to have such and such amount of watch time minutes and a thousand subscribers before you can monetize your channel. I think that's just silly. Um, I can understand if you were like a new user that just signed up, but you know, for channels that have been on for a couple of years they should have been grandfathered in in my opinion I don't think it was right to take their monetization away I just think that's kind of silly um, even if they weren't making that much money it's still something and they have to start somewhere so I don't know but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed seeing Miss Maya she's so cute and um, yeah so let me know in the comments below if you've had issues with um, seeing videos in your subscription feed, not just for me, but other channels that you subscribe to. Have you encountered this issue? Um, if you have, I suggest that your favorite YouTube channels, you go, you make sure that A, you have clicked on the big red subscribe button, and B, that you click on the bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you can um, make sure you don't miss any of the videos of your favorite channels. And if you haven't seen videos from your favorite channel in a while, I suggest you go to their channel page and have a look and see um, the videos, it, it will usually always tell you the date that the video is uploaded so you'll be able to see how recent they are. And um, yeah, I just, I really suggest you go and do that if you have had issues. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching my little rant. <laughs> I just had, I've, it's just been frustrating and I still haven't heard back from YouTube about these three videos now, but hopefully I'll, I'll hear something soon in the they will have a solution to the problem for me anyway. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I am just, I am grateful though that at least I haven't had to submit any reviews for, I would say, the last month or two. 
So that's been really helpful. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And yeah, bye, guys. <laughs>